finally it rises. Public preference for Lincoln Continental as the symbol for today's luxury motoring. Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, the Lincoln Addict, and what I want to do is take a look at what's coming up in a couple of weeks at Barrett-Jackson 2023. This is in Scottsdale, Arizona. Before we jump in and look at this, uh, I would encourage you to go to lincolnaddict.com. You can buy a shirt, a sticker. You can also go to info and how to listen. If you want to listen to the podcast on the web, you'll just uh, click on the web. It takes you to lincolnaddict.podbean.com. You can listen through all these different methods. Click the link on your phone. It'll take you right to it. Uh, check it out. It's totally free. Now, there's about 15 Lincolns that are going to be sold at Barrett-Jackson, no reserve. And many of you guys know how this goes. You've seen it on TV. Maybe you've attended some of the events, but there's there's 15 Lincolns. And I'm very curious to see how this will impact up any of these potential sales. Um, I'm only going to look at one particular car today with this video. Obviously, don't have enough time to go through all of these, but you can see there's a vast array of 50s, 60s, and if we scroll up here, um, even the 77 and 88 Lincoln, so uh, as well as a 44 Deluxe convertible. But um, what I did is when I, you go to Barrett Jackson website, you can kind of find this information, and I just filter it by the keyword Lincoln. There's some on here that I really, really want to jump in and talk about right now. But again, I'm going to try to keep this video to one particular topic. This is a friend of mine, uh, Charlie. He is selling his 64 Lincoln Continental convertible. This is basically what you would call a resto mod. He's going to roll the dice and I'm very excited for him. These photos are going to kind of scroll through here. You see the LS engine in here. Now, I had put together a presentation for Charlie, and we did do our best through social media to try to drum up some interest in these cars or in this particular car. The challenge is, obviously, sometimes cars move quickly through social media. Other times, you know, it's tougher, and especially when you get over a certain price point. I told Charlie early on, I said, hey, in my opinion, let's let's give it a go for a week or two. If we don't drum up any uh, you know, solid leads, then certainly take it to auction. You know, that was my uh, feedback to him. But basically what you're going to see here is with this 64, uh, you can click uh, and make these larger photos. He had this photo shoot done uh, and he had sent me all of these photos and it just this car is a really, really nice resto mod. I think the big thing with this car is it pretty much has everything that most people are looking for. And when I say most people, there are a lot of people that want to get into one of these cars. They don't know anything about them. They might be a celebrity. They might be a sports athlete. And oftentimes people hit me up and they go, hey, do you know any 63, 64 convertibles for sale? Black. You know, and you'll throw one at them and they go, no, I want a, you know, I want a modern drivetrain. And you kind of throw something at them and... They're like, no, no, and it's always like there's always something that, that for whatever reason just isn't meeting their interest. This car is super cool. It's one that you get in, you turn the key, and you literally drive. He has put um, – I forget if it was maybe twenty to 30,000 miles on this car since all of this work has been done. And you can see it has a center console that flows. This is custom you know, from the dash all the way back. And you've got this look of um, basically a grill, right? So uh, with the cup holders, looks, you know, basically like a 66, 67 grill. But, you know, this car is is a really, really, really nice Resto Mod car. Um, the big thing that sticks out uh, to me is it has this LS motor in it. And this is a GM L76 V8 engine. And it came out of a car, I think that was, it was a GM car that I believe was sold in Australia. Uh, so it was, you know, these LS engines, you got to kind of know, I mean, there's so many different facets to them. Um, most of us just know, you know, we'll say LS swap, but it does have a modern drivetrain in it, which you can see here, uh, backed by a, a 4L80E transmission. So that's one of the big things. But you know, I know some of you on this channel, you look at this and you go, hey, this is not my cup of tea. It's a GM engine and a Ford Lincoln product. I totally get it. But believe it or not, out there in this Lincoln world that we're all 
you know, a part of, there is a big strong interest or a, a strong interest, I should say, in someone wanting to buy a car like this, uh, a, a drop top, you know, basically convertible black, uh, 64, very desirable year, uh, modern drivetrain from the engine back. It has a, uh, a sound system. You can see some of the, the items here and down here. Um, Audison, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's a German company. So it has that full, uh, sound system to it. Uh, custom and then you know you kind of have the money shot right there that front three quarter it does have the detroit steel wheel on it so shout out to detroit steel wheel part of mob steel up there in detroit and it really just has a lot going for it now i'm very curious to see what it will what it will sell for when we posted it in social media obviously you're going to have a lot of people say it's not worth that you know the same old stuff that we always hear so i'll be very curious um what it does sell for. What I would suggest is, you know, if you're following this channel and, you know, if you've got the money or this, this car interests you definitely look at it and, and check it out. Um, you know, whether you're going to Arizona in a couple of weeks, or if you can have someone check it out for you, I know there's online bidding options as well and that type of thing, but, uh, Charlie's a great guy. And I think, he, you know, he's just ready to move, uh, the car to someone else. But again, he uh, really spent a lot of time and money on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up really quick. I wasn't intending to, but let's take a look at this. So this was something that I put together in kind of a unique perspective that I'll kind of just give you guys on what sometimes goes behind selling a car. It's really showcasing it. It's no really different than selling a home or a high a high end home, if you will. But basically, if you look on the left, 64 Lincoln Continental convertible, black paint, black convertible top, Pontiac. I think it was that's what it was a GS LS2, uh, GM 4L80E. I mentioned the wheels, the sound system. Technically, it had a bench seat converted into the bucket seats. Now, there are non adjustable bucket seats, but Charlie had reinforced that you know, his wife, I think she's like he said maybe 5'7, five, 5'8, five, and he's taller, and you know, no matter you know, whether it was him driving or her, he said there was no issue at all, but the, the seat was converted, uh, into bucket seats, which is kind of unique, uh, completely painted engine bay. There was a uh, professional paint correction. So anybody that's around detailing or kind of high end, um, you know, uh, stuff in terms of like detailing, you'll know what that is. Upgraded disc brakes in the front, mob steel air suspension kit, AccuAir E-level, detailed undercarriage, uh, f uh, fully custom trunk. You kind of saw that. And then a one-off center console, as I had mentioned. But one of the th key things to this is why buy a 64, like factory look and appeal, you know, the 64 is arguably the most sought after Lincoln. And, you know, this car being triple black, black paint, tuxedo interior, and then black top really is super desirable. And oftentimes, again, I know some of you that are more purist or you've been around Lincoln's a long time, you got to remember there's going to be a guy or lady that comes along that says, hey, this is what I want. They don't know anything about these Lincolns. They just want a car they can jump in. They don't care what's powering it down the road. They want to turn the key and they want to cruise for maybe hours, if not days across the country. And this is a car that you could easily do that in. The odometer showed 18K after the uh, swap. And um, I believe he said it has 40,000 miles on the engine. The interior, you know, kind of retains that factory look and feel. The trunk interior is completely finished, you know, with a, a classy custom audio system. And the resto mod highlights. So again, the 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 uh, GM engine, but the 4L 80E uh, or 4L 80 uh, transmission. The high gloss paint with a recent paint correction was key. And you also have um, the entire undercarriage of the car has been cleaned and kind of resprayed. So it's a really really nice car. Um, I'll just kind of cover a couple more slides here to kind of show. But basically, early 2000s GM paint. A lot of times you could take. Um, someone can scan the paint and they can determine the approximate year of the paint, believe it or not. Uh, so they think that it was painted around early 2000s. Some areas of the car were resprayed recently prior to the cut and buff and full paint correction. This was to ensure the car looked really amazing for the sale. And that's the key thing. Charlie isn't just trying to flip this car. He's owned it a long time. But he's also reinvested money into making this car as nice as it can be. The chrome and bright work, including the stainless 
uh, is in very good condition. It does have a stay fast, so it's not a vinyl top. It has a stay fast convertible top. And of course, the, the Detroit, those are 20 inch wheels with the diamond back tires, which everybody just loves. But there's a key couple takeaways, and this is the last thing I'll share with it on the exterior. Other than the airbag suspension and smoothie wheels, really the car retains that stock appearance. And that's what a lot of people, especially someone that's maybe got the cash that just wants to, to come in and get a car, an older car that looks like that old school, you know, awesome classic styling, but underneath is more modern and that's kind of where you get the resto mod uh you could leave the car as is or you could change it to your liking i think that's a cool thing i recently installed my colorado custom replica lincoln wheels that are machined to look like the hubcaps you know you could always swap those up um you go with a 17 or higher uh talk to michael and team they're great people over there but i think what i would tell you with this car is you know oftentimes there, um, there's people that are looking for these and, uh, I'm, I'm super excited for them to see what the number goes for. What I would ask is comment below and let me know what you think it will go for. I've had people say 15,000. I've had people say obviously way higher than that. It'll be definitely interesting. These custom Lincolns, if you guys follow me on social media, I have posted some of them. They have went from anywhere from the mid 50 thousand seventy thousand we've seen go for some go for a little over six figures but we've also seen them go well into the three hundred thousands we also know joe at weld county Customs. shout out to joe setting the record with fees at seven hundred and fifteen thousand okay and a lot of people go man that's ludicrous there's no way blah 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 it must have been some sports athlete from the video I saw, it was an older gentleman that may have been in his 70s or 80s that bought it. So don't always uh, typecast you know, the younger crowd or these young guys are ruining these cars. Oftentimes, an old school guy wants a car that he loves. Like I said, he loves the styling, but he can get in and drive these cars with that modern drivetrain. So uh, again, let me know what you guys think. I mean, does the LS engine for you ruin it? Um, or if you ever had an opportunity, would you throw an LS engine into one of these cars? Um, or do you have other concerns? You know, do you think, Hey, there's too many black Lincolns or here's something nobody's talking about. There's 15 Lincolns going. Okay. Now I will say with my last comment is Charlie did a fantastic job. You can see Saturday, 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 there's three that are going across what they call the block and um, these three, uh, you can see on the bottom here, including the Sick Customs uh, 56 Continental uh, Custom Mark II, uh, these three cars are going on Saturday. So it'll be very, very interesting to see the differences in the numbers and to see by the time we get to the final three, are the previous 12, are people linked out at that point? You know, um, if you scroll up here, and again, I'll talk more about these in other videos, you know, you do have that, that 61 I'm aware of that's going across the block, this 62, but you can see again the theme black, airbagged, low, uh, a couple of resto mods, and things like that. So it'll be very, very interesting. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And lot 1304, this 1964 Lincoln Continental Convertible. Uh, we'll be going across the block, no reserve. Barrett Jackson also shared it on their social media. So to Charlie and some of his friends and family, I wish you guys the best. And I hope that you get the most you can for it. But again, like I always tell people, make sure when you look at these cars that it's something that you're going to be interested in. You know, I wouldn't want you to get a car, buy this car and go, oh, wow, I thought I had bucket seats and I can't adjust the seat. You know, there's little things like that that sometimes come with a custom car and I always suggest if you're going to spend the money, check it out or have someone you really trust check these cars out. That way you're not surprised at all uh, when you get it back home and you're ready to cruise. So with that being said, again, if you get an opportunity, check out LincolnAddict.com. You can find ways to listen to the podcast. You can buy a shirt. You can buy some stickers. I really appreciate it. Take care and stay on the rise. We out of here. Peace. The Lincoln Continental is the big, roomy luxury car. It will be motordom's symbol of quality. An automobile and a tradition.